Hello YouTube and welcome to another video of how to do things in Extreme Worlds. I am Lunar Hero and as you know my channel's name is Rumble Agents. Okay, so today we'll we be we will be learning how to um basically beginner script for any beginners out there who just simply don't know anything about scripting on um Extreme Worlds. Uh, yeah, okay, so first you're gonna go on your game and you're gonna have to make sure you have admin access Otherwise you won't be able to uh, pop up this little menu with the F1 key Yes, F1 to bring up this menu for all you who didn't know Go to edit scripting Now how about we make it so when we type slash hello We get it to um send a message to everyone let me put this up in the corner hang on okay so first of all in the script editor we will see colors listed you're gonna want to know these and possibly even the little number next to it you don't have to simply just know what colors you can use okay so control F brings up the find box we're gonna search uh, for the sub called commands and I've already done this for a previous video but I deleted that one because it just took too damn long alright so let's start over with this one now we are in the sub command section you're going to want to go underneath the select case um, part of it shut up xfire anyway uh, what was, oh yeah we were going to make it so when we type slash hello we get a message sent to everyone okay so first of all you're gonna put case quotation mark slash hello that means in the case of the player typing slash hello it will do whatever we tell it to uh, call will make it do exactly what we state next to it so call pull no global message yes it is short abbreviated uh, no, not index. Get player name index um, and quotation mark says hello to everyone. Lol. Okay. Anyway, you're going to need a comma after that. And the color. Let's make it brown again. Okay, so a little bit about what this script does. Simply, it, well, it's pretty obvious actually. In the case that the player types slash hello in the game, it will call or basically tell the game to send a global message, which means to all players online, that get player name means whoever, uh, man, whoever used this script, basically, slash hello. An index is defining this person. You're going to need that always almost almost always so get player name index and make sure you include an and if you're going to put something else here uh, quotation marks says hello blah 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 that's basically exactly what you want it to say I always put a space after it so the name and the says don't get put together so it would be like hero says instead of hero says you know and uh, a comma after the other quotation mark separating it from the color and then you're going to want to end it with a thing parentheses there we go yep so we're going to now click save okay and I wonder if you'll be able to see this hold on I can move this down yeah there we go now slash hello here it is. Hero says hello to everyone. Lol. Alright, so. Backed it up here. Because I liked it up here more. We're going to go back into it. And we're going to do something else now. A little bit more complex. Or -er, sort of. We're going to make it so when we use an item, we will get a message. Okay, so control F again to bring up the find function. Uh, simply type sub use item. This is the sub, so 
for whenever you uh, use an item, of course. That's pretty obvious. And I've already done this yesterday. Anyway, uh, let's just, you know, I'll just retype it, okay? So we're going to do if item number equals 9, which is, you can know which item number it is. Ah, damn. Okay. The thing is, when you have an if statement, you always need a then. And if you have an if statement, you always also need an int if. What I like to do is, as soon as I type an if then statement, simply put end if underneath it. And then I can fill in the middle. Anyway, so if the item number I am using is number 9, you can find out what number it is by looking in this item editor. And my number 9 is a fluff. So if the player uses a fluff, then it will call uh, the server to send a global message stating that the person, it'll get whoever used its name, um, and of course has used a fluffy, puffy, fluff thing. Yep. And then quotation, comma, C, yellow. Now I can get rid of this one because this one is oblivious. Yes. Now, I almost forgot. Quotation mark. The small little errors can cause the biggest problems. Anyway, now let's see if this thing worked. All right. It says it's successfully updated. So, uh, my fluff, my fluff. Uh huh. Here it is, okay. My fluff is up here, see? As you can see. I double clicked it, and Hero has used a fluffy puffy thingy. Yep, that's basically it with the commands or something. But you can, of course, make it so much better and cooler. Like, I know how to make videos and stuff, and I know how to make waypoints sort of and I know how to make stuff let's just say that anyway yeah my game is still being worked on again I had to restart it anyway I hope this video helped you for any of you new beginner people um, I will probably be making more ones for uh, more complex things maybe just maybe I don't know and, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and hope it helped. Alright, Lunar Hero, or Hero, signing off. Oh, yeah, and uh, please subscribe and comment. No, you don't have to subscribe. Just at least comment, because I like to see that people are actually watching my videos. Alright, thank you, and peace.